Hello everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Pathshala. Today I will discuss a problem from real analysis which come in CHI NET June 2023. The question is from part B. What is given in the problem? Let xy belongs to close interval 0 1 be such that x not equal to y. Which of the following statements is true for every epsilon greater than 0? Before studying the problem, we will discuss Archimedean property. What is Archimedean property? Archimedean property. We recall it. Given xy belongs to real number r with x greater than 0, y greater than 0. Then there exists a natural number such that ny greater than x. Okay. From the Arcadian body, what do we get? Given xy belongs to real number r with x greater than 0, y greater than 0, then there exists a natural number n such that ny greater than x. So, in option 1, what is said? There exists a positive integer n, there exists a positive integer n such that mod of x, mod of x minus y less than 2 to the power n epsilon for every integer n greater than equal to capital N, given that ki epsilon greater than 0. So, in option 1, what is said? The problem xy belongs to close interval 0, 1 and x not equal to y ok so mod of x minus x not equal to y so mod of x minus y should be mod of x minus y should be less than 1 and greater than 0 and so and what is given epsilon greater than 0 so by Archimedean property by Archimedean property we can say that by Archimedean property we can say that for every epsilon greater than 0 there exists a natural number n such that such that what n epsilon n epsilon greater than mod x minus y ok we can say that by this form Archimedean property ok so mod of x minus y should be less than n epsilon ok now n is always less than 2 to the power n for all natural number n ok n is always less than 2 to the power n so this can be written as mod of x minus y n epsilon less than 2 to the power n f 2 to the power n into epsilon ok it can be written as so finally we, we get mod of x minus y less than 2 to the power n minus epsilon what in what for what in the we basically get there exists a natural number n belongs to n so let this is true for n equal to capital n this is true for n equal to capital n this is true for this ok then if it is true for capital n say we can write this 2 to the power n epsilon less than 2 to the power n plus 1 epsilon less than 2 to the power n plus 2 epsilon blah 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 it is true for basically all n greater than equal to n it is true for basically all n greater than equal to capital n so finally what we get finally we get mod of x minus y less than to the power n epsilon for all n greater than equal to capital n okay so in first option what is said there exists a positive, positive integer positive integer capital n such that mod of x minus mod of x minus y less than 2 to the power small n epsilon for every integer small n greater than equal to capital n so basically we get this na basically we get this one so this is option one is true 
option one is true so other option should be false since it is from part b now we we disprove these three options by an example what is the example we take x equal to 0.5 y equal to 0.4 both belongs to 0 to 1 close interval 0 to 1 and x not equal to y and sln equal to take 0 0.1 so from this relation what we get to the power n into 0 0.1 less than 0 0.1 this implies 2 to the power n less than 1 so you can see this is absurd case na? 2 to the power n always greater than 1 na? for all n this is always greater than 1 but we get this so this is abstract case so this relation can't be true this relation can't be true so option 2, two is false from this option what we get there uh, this option 0 0.1 less than 2 to the power minus n into 0 0.1 basically we get 1 less than 1 by 2 to the power n basically we get 2 to the power n less than again we get this relation so option 3 also false option 3 also false now for option 4 what is said for every positive integer capital n such that mod of x y less than 2 to the power minus n epsilon for some integer n greater than equal to capital n you can see that in third option what is relation is given this is same with the fourth relation so for in the fourth option relation is same with the third relation so if I take same example, so from the relation we get same result. So this 2 to the power n less than f less than 1. So this this 2 to the power n less than 1 is abstract case. This is not true. This is not true for this is not true for any positive integer n. So we have said for, for every positive integer n, capital N. So this should be false. So Thank you for watching video. I always suggest for learning real analysis the book of by SK Mappa. You can read this book and another book is the by Kumaresan S. Kumaresan. You can read this book.